Hi guys, just wanted to share with you a brief overview of the newly released AutoCAD 2015 version. I'm Missy Cat for you and soon I'll be starting a series on the CAD 15 for beginners and those who want to get acquainted with the new version. First of all is that CAD 15 will no longer support Windows XP or Vista. So you have to have either Windows 7, 8 or 8.1. And believe me, I tried installing on both and I couldn't. The first thing we notice when launching the 15 version is that the welcome screen has been completely revamped. Uh, what we have here is a different look with the same purpose and oriented towards the learning environment. From here we can access the learning screen using the arrow on the left or the bottom uh, at the bottom on the screen. Once we're here, we'll have a set of videos and resources to learn CAD by subjects some tips on the right, and additional online resources. In case something new is added, you will be notified here. The arrow on the right will take us to the create screen or again, we can click at the bottom of the page. So here we can access the cloud services by signing into the new AutoCAD 360, or we can use sample files or access our recent drawings. The main section here is the get started from uh, where we can initiate a new drawing or accessing the templates available or the sheet sets. If we click here we start a new drawing or we will browse our file from the menu below. Let's click on the start new drawing to visit the actual UI or user interface. The first thing we notice now once we're here is that the distinctive white ribbon is gone and has been replaced with a black one that blends in and resembles the actual user interface of AutoCAD for Mac. The purpose of this is to disrupt you less by reducing the contrast in the screen. A quick look at the ribbon reveals a couple of additions in terms of contextual tabs with uh, new commands and accessibility options. For example, we can see that some commands have uh, new options included and a preview while active. As an example, while you're trimming the segments to be trimmed, dims down or grayed out when you point at it, which will allow you to decide before committing to it. CAD 2015 also displays colors, line types and line weights for lines and polylines as you draw them by default. When doing dimensions, CAD will ignore existing dimensions and will not snap at them, making it easier to dimension a busy drawing. Additionally, we see that it includes also some new tabs like, for example, featured apps with the respective modules and tools. And of course, the ribbon is highly customizable in the sense that we can add more tabs and panels that has been added. Also, we notice down here that the drawing aids and status bar were also reworked and moved to the right. With a quick access to some of the options of the drawing aids, we can choose what tools to display from the customization menu. When clicking each one, or right-clicking, or pulling the drop-down menu instead of opening the traditional white flyout, it will give us the new, more stylish black one with more or less the same options to select from. A couple of additions are noticeable like the option to set up an isometric drawing with just one click, which is a huge advantage right now. Or the hardware acceleration and graphics performance that enhance the visual comfort and drawing experience as you go. We'll try to see this a little bit later in this video. As you can see, we still have two layouts by default. And the distinctive command line or command prompt is working the same way as in the previous versions by suggesting possible options as you type the command. An enhancement that has been added though is the option now to select objects in a free way. 
We are all familiar with the traditional method to select in CAD, but now by pressing the left side of your mouse and move or drag it, we can use it in a way similar to the lasso tool in Photoshop, and this is the new name for this uh, operation or tool, lasso. It will allow you to use a semi-free selection tool that is not constrained in a rectangular shape. And finally, here on the left upper area, we'll have the drawings uh, we're using as tabs organized from left to right above the active model space. Let's close this one and open a 3D that I've been working with recently. The 3D user interface also receives some improvements. For example, model space viewports have been improved significantly. So let's go to View tab. And then under the Viewport Configuration button, pull the drop-down menu. I will select this configuration and see that now we have three different viewports within our model space. And although this is not new, one little improvement is. As you might know, one of them is the active one and the remaining two are not. What is new for this version is that the active one will be identified by a blue boundary and you can resize them easily or even remove them completely. Now if you use the control key while resizing it, it will actually split the viewport. We have the same cube, palettes, ribbon, with enhanced functionality and some tools like for example, while orbiting, we can set a target point to orbit from. This one you can turn it off if you prefer the traditional way. One tool though that receives a significant improvement is the geographical location functionality, which now will allow us to use a satellite location tool to model or draw virtually in the real world. Graphics and displays, as was already mentioned, uh, have also received some push. You can control the way some objects or options look from the status bar with the new graphic performance and in the dial box just make sure to select some. Like for example here the smooth line displayed, it enhances the display of the objects but doesn't affect when you plot. On the other hand version 2015 is still using the same extension and format as of uh, 2013 and 14. which implies that you shouldn't have any problems opening a 2015 drawing without a CAD 14 or even 13. Now, just want to get your opinion on the release, guys. What do you think? Do you like this new look, along with the minor additions and improvements better than the previous one, or the other way around? And if so, please let us know how. Now, remember, you can like this video and subscribe for more. Again, Thanks for watching and see you next time.